Hello dear students welcome back again to Chen Moe's YouTube channel so hope you have gone through the previous lesson of allergy uh, where i've discussed in brief about the entry routes of allergy what is allergy what are allergens and what are the types of allergy so if you have not gone through that lesson i am putting the link above and in the below description box also go through it first then it will be easier for you to start with the second part of allergy that is how an allergic reaction occurs so without further delay we are starting today's lesson of how an allergic reaction occurs so what are the learning objectives of today's lesson at the end of this lesson we will know that what is uh, an allergic reaction and how does it occur and what are the signs and symptoms of allergies and um, regarding some important allergies i'll be discussing the common symptoms and how they can be prevented so some common allergies we'll be discussing today now first uh, we can say that how an allergic reaction occurs when a person is allergic to certain particular allergen and comes in contact with it an allergic reaction is occurring okay so this reaction is beginning when the uh, allergen is coming in contact with the person's body who is allergic to this particular allergen might be a person is coming uh, in contact with a pollen grain so all are not allergic to pollen grain right the person who is allergic to pollen grain uh will have this allergic reaction because he is hypersensitive his sensitivity will react against this pollen grain so this causes the special cells in the body tissues to make a chemical reaction with the antibody now when the pollen grains come in contact with the antibodies what is happening a substance called histamine is released now during this time a substance called histamine is released and histamine causes allergic reaction which results in swelling and inflammation so the histamine is causing an allergic reaction which is causing inflammation in the body so might be the inflammation is internal in the respiratory tract as well as external throughout the skin we can see the uh, inflammation okay so red dots or rashes that is also a form of in, uh, inflammation which is caused by the histamine which is released during allergic reaction so to treat what is given generally certain drugs are given due to this uh, during this allergic reaction that is his, his antihistamine drugs which are uh, causing the um, the cells to stop the histamine release so when the histamine release is suppressed in a cell a uh, uh, histamine releasing cell then what will happen automatically this inflammation during allergic reactions will be stopped or it can be reduced so the antihistamine drugs are applied or they are mainly applicable for this allergic reaction so this is how the uh, allergic reactions occur okay so this for your 7th uh, standard this one you should know till this so if you are going beyond this it will be in higher classes like 8th 9th and 10th you will be studying that not as per your 7th icsc curriculum so this you know that when allergic reaction occurs histamine causes the allergic reaction so it is released from the cells and the swelling and inflammation is occurring now what are the common symptoms of allergy now the symptoms we have divided it into three say types of symptoms first one is the mild symptoms second one are the moderate symptoms and third one are the severe symptoms so in case of mild symptoms what is happening rashes on the skin is happening itchy or watery eyes congestion of the throat persistent sneezing is happening in allergies now continuous itchiness is there it is a form of moderate uh, symptom difficulty in breathing is there and in case of severe symptoms what all is happening swelling of the skin swelling inside the throat making it difficult to breathe or swallow the flu food so it is a very severe uh, symptom when the uh, the tract of uh, the respiratory tract as well as the esophagus all are swelling it is difficult to breathe as well as swallow food abdominal pain is there vomiting is there dizziness and mental confusion is there wheezing also it starts happening now here you see in this diagram some common signs and symptoms of allergy asthma we all know it is uh, the person who are allergic to pollens and all they they have wheezing so this leads to asthma so that is a respiratory tract disorder now you can see this fellow might be allergic to certain substance might be cosmetic or something so which has caused swelling in the eyelid here rashes have come out all over the body any form of uh, allergic reaction can be there this is also inflammation sw swelling and rashes red rashes this is the redness of the eye watery and red eyes all are allergic this is allergic rhinitis due to the pet 
so pets fur and pets um, uh, we can say that pets body mites also causes allergies in some people some people are allergic to pets so they are uh, having uh, they should be staying away from the pets so these are common signs and symptoms of allergies now few common allergies we have taken the first one first allergy we have taken hay fever so it is a very common allergy hay fever so hay fever we can say that pollen grains in hay fields are causing hay fever not only that it is caused by the hairs of pet animals dust mites and molds also so hay fever is uh, what it is also called allergic rhinitis so that con continuous running nose these people they are having continuous running nose so they uh, will be uh, every time sneezing and continuous nose will be uh, the flu some fluid will be coming out from the nose so that is allergic rhinitis there are other symptoms of this allergic rhinitis also now first of all is the runny nose so always their nose will be uh, runny itchy nose they will be itching their nose mouth or skin sore throat coughing stuffy nose due to nasal blockage or congestion difficulty in breathing due to stuffy nose and decreased sense of smell and taste because their nose is always stuffy it is closed and uh, they are unable to breathe so decreased sense of smell and taste and asthma is another uh, now if they are having severe allergic rhinitis or severe blockage in their nose it leads to asthma so this is one kind of um, allergy hay fever these are very common allergies seen in mostly many people uh, uh, now now we will move on to the next common form of allergy now this is the dust allergy it is also very common it is caused by dust alone or by mite or cockroaches excreta hairs of animals now dust allergy causes runny nose same as the previous one hay fever runny nose and nasal congestion red and itchy and watery eyes now in hay fever also same thing was there here also red itchy and watery eyes sneezing wheezing or coughing and shortness of breath so these all are symptoms of dust allergies when a, whenever a person is exposed to dust and whenever he is exposed to too much amount of uh, dusty environment then only they will have nasal blockage runny nose uh, red itchy and watery eyes sneezing and all so this type of symptoms are also uh, happening when a person is uh, uh, coming in contact with the um, uh, mites or cockroaches excreta or hair of animals so let us move on the next common form of allergy now here the next one has come what is this this is nettle rash hives or utricaria so it is caused uh, by an allergy to certain food items or medicines or cosmetics so uh, what is happening here raised itchy bumps on the skin uh, which are either red or skin colored they resemble bug bites and can appear on any area of the body so raised itchy bumps on the skin which are either they are, you can see they are these are either red in color or skin color they resemble the bug bites and can appear on any area of the skin or the body now they may change their shape move around disappear or reappear over short periods of time so what is happening at a certain phase of time you can see this area is red so after some time you can see that uh, this area doesn't have any allergy they have already disappeared again after a short time it can re reappear in this spot so this is nettle rash so it is also called hives or utric area so it is not a um, uh, not a permanent kind of allergy so might be it is caused by some medicines when the uh, when the reaction of that that medicine is over not there in your body it goes off now some cosmetics you have applied in the morning might be by after one or two hours it was there but after some time it has totally disappeared again when you are applying that cosmetics it has reappeared again so these are nettle rashes or hives or utricaria now next here is dermatitis or eczema this is a very common form of uh, allergy may, seen in uh, like very uh, not it's uh, like uh, many people are having this eczema or this uh, this is a common skin allergy now develops due to hypersensitivity to particular substance in contact with the skin or to a particular food item same thing washing powders may cause this dermatitis now constantly might be you are using uh, a washing powder which doesn't suit your skin so this causes eczema of your skin some cosmetics or some cheap dyes hair dyes now people whenever they are having gray hairs they try to cover their hairs to make it black or might be you are uh, people who are very fashionable they keep on coloring their hair so any cheap dyes or hair colors can cause this type of allergies so this is called eczema or dermatitis now might at some times if you are highly stressed this stress also can lead to dermatitis 
now asthma this is also one form of an allergy which is like um, if you are having dust allergy if you are having pool and green allergy constant uh, congestion nasal congestion upper respiratory tract congestion can lead to asthma so long term lung disease in which the air passage of the lungs swells and narrows down what is happening now this you can see this is the normal airway now asthmatic airway what has happened here you can see that it has narrowed down and after a long period of time that when a person is suffering from asthma for a longer period of time the tract has even become more narrower so the person is having difficulty in breathing in these cases they are given inhalers to dilate this uh, tract so that the air flow is easier and the person can breathe easily so this inhaler they are using you can see Uh, for the dilation of the respiratory pathway so that their breathing process is eased and they can breathe easily the skin that lines the air passage swells and the mucus oozes out so skin is swelling and mucus keeps on oozing out and the person has difficulty in breathing the kind of whistling sound is coming when he is or he or she is breathing so you if you see a person with wheezing you can see whenever he or she is breathing there is a whistling sound sound coming out so when we normal people are breathing no sound is coming out but whenever a person with wheezing or with uh, asthma they are breathing a uh, uh, we a whistling sound will be coming out from their, their nose or from their breathing uh, like when they are breathing so it's not like normal breathing so these people gradually after long period of time they they are asthmatic they uh, become uh, like uh, they uh, it causes asthma so prolonged long term lung lung disease uh, keeps on narrowing their air passages causing asthma now let us move on to the next one now what are the causes and symptoms of asthma generally it may be genetic it may be passed on from the parents to their children uh, due to certain respiratory infections this asthma is caused and in many cases contact with the airborne allergens such as tobacco smoke pollen grains uh, and chemicals dust mites or some food substances they can cause asthma uh, severe cough and cold can also lead to asthma now what are the symptoms symptoms of asthma a person will be coughing continuously it worsens at night or early in the morning now wheezing with uh, while uh, breathing is another symptom of uh, asthma now tightness of chest that may feel as someone is squeezing your chest this is also another symptom of asthma shortness of breath difficulty in breathing these are all common symptoms of asthma so now till now we have done with many we are done with many important uh, uh, allergies now let's let us move on to the next one now this one is the last one that is some people are allergic to insect bites so insects inject certain chemicals or insect venom in your blood when they bite or sting so these are allergens these are acting as allergens and pain in the area of the sting redness or rashes are caused and swelling beyond the area of the sting and always there is a condition of itching so this is also a type of uh, allergy insect bite is also a type of allergy so these are all almost uh, uh, this is uh, all common types of allergies so let us move on to the next one now we are here with cosmetic allergy so cosmetics when you are using any kind of cosmetics which doesn't suit you so what is happening there skin irritation might happen dermatitis swelling over the skin and rashes and even if it is getting in contact with your eyes redness and conjunctivitis of the eyes can also be due to this cosmetics now perfume some are allergic to a certain smell of perfume might be that is causing irritation in their nose or in their respiratory tract so perfume also some people are allergic to so cosmetic and perfume allergy is there next comes pet allergy so what is pet allergy now as persons are allergic to pollen grains dust and all like that people are also allergic to some pets so pets what the animal furs uh, like the saliva urine of the dog, uh, dog or dust uh, of the in the body of the um, dog fur that can also cause allergy so this allergy is mainly causes sneezing congestion wheezing vomiting uh, also can be a cause of this uh, dust uh, bet allergy sorry and it it creates rashes on the skin also so suppose you are allergic to a pet it's better to stay away from a pet because this might cause allergic reactions 
Now, last but not the least is a very important thing, which is food allergy, which we all are taking every day and might be we are, we unknowingly are taking those foods which we are allergic to, like eggs, peanuts, any fruits, mainly the sea fish, the chemicals, the sea fish is emitting causes allergy. Then comes the tree nuts, soy, dairy products and wheat. So these are all types of uh, food allergy. So this is all for today's uh, class. So next class we will be studying about the, how we can prevent these allergies and that is prevention and care and what is the treatment of this allergy. So these are all common type of example uh, allergies we have discussed today. So please do subscribe to my channel to know more on my updates whatever I'm, I'll be teaching in the next class and as I am teaching as per your syllabus the next episodes will be uh, on your lessons only as per 7th ICSC curriculum and before your final exams I'll be doing a quick revision of all the lessons which we have gone through. So thanks for today's episode stay tuned stay updated and subscribe to my channel.